Hello there, Cryo Dog. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit today about um, learning to play the guitar um, and how long it takes to get good or uh, to play well. And that question is not, there's not really a definite answer for that because it depends on a lot of different things. Um, so, uh, I guess one of the first things it would it would uh, make a difference in that would be what type of music or, or what type of guitar player you want to be. Um, do you want to be someone that plays um, <clears throat> really technical, uh, like maybe heavy metal music or classical? Um, and so that's that's one thing. Another thing would be is how much time are you willing to invest? And um, learning to play the guitar, uh, that will determine you know how fast you progress and and, uh, and those kind of things. And um, I guess another another item to consider would be: um, Do you want to be in a band, or do you want to uh, what? How what what do you want to do with playing the guitar? Like, do you want to be someone that just plays around the campfire, plays with family and friends on the weekend, plays in a band, uh, is a studio musician, you know, those kind of things. Because uh, each one of those, you know, is going to take a varying degree of, of practice, knowledge, and, um, you know, working with other people. So, you know, that the answer to the question is not really definite, and it's going to vary depending on, you, you know, who you are, what you want to do with it, and um, where you want to go. So, for me, you know, I, my purpose for learning the guitar was just to be able to play songs um, and share knowledge of songs that I've learned and, and write songs. You know, I, I write songs uh, occasionally. I've written some, you know, probably maybe 15 or 20 of the last uh, 10 or 15 years, I guess. And um, so, you know, that's also something to consider is, you know, what is your purpose for playing it? So if you want to be a, if you want to be in a band or if you want to be in the music industry, a, maybe a studio musician, then it's probably going to require a lot more time. Um, one, to be a studio musician, I would imagine you would have to have the skills to play anything. So if someone comes in and, and you know, wants to record a demo, uh, and you can only play rhythm, then obviously you're not going to be, you know, very prepared to, to to do much of anything else like lead work or or stuff like that. So uh, for for that, I would say you it would probably be better to get a lot of training and maybe not be um, like I did. I, I kind of taught myself. I didn't take any lessons. But if you want to be a studio musician, I would encourage you to to get guitar lessons. Maybe even go to school for music um, and get a degree in something like that. Uh, you know, really hone your craft as far as playing the guitar, uh, scales, all the guitar theory out there. You know, all that stuff is is going to help you in your in your uh, goal of getting to be that studio musician. If you want to be like me just play for maybe family and friends or do home recording type stuff uh, then maybe you know learning just rhythm chords couple scales maybe that's all you need you know you don't need to spend 10 hours a day practicing scales or lead licks or or writing solos or whatever um, so you know that it just really all depends on what you want to do with it um, and how much time you have to invest in it. Obviously, if you want to be in a band, uh, then you've got to, depending on what role you want to play in that band, whether it's a rhythm guitarist, bassist, lead guitarist, maybe even a drummer, you know, this kind of applies to other instruments as well. Um, you want to be able to communicate with those players and know what you're talking about as far as the music and what they're talking about so that you can get your ideas together into one, you know, um, one idea so that everyone's communicating the same and understands, you know, what each other's talking about. So 
there's a lot of music theory that may go into that. Uh, definitely, if you want to be a rhythm player, you know, chord uh, knowledge is, is very essential, I would say. If you want to be a lead player, then scales, um, dexterity, you know, be getting fast at playing, you know, solos. You, you, want to pray, you want to focus your your time and efforts on that. Um, so, you know, again, it, it takes several different things you have to consider there. So the answer to the question is, it depends. Um, uh, on those various things, especially time, I would say time would be one of the main ones because if you're going to be a professional studio or a professional musician, you need to spend a lot of time um, learning, practicing, uh, writing, uh, playing with other people, um, band practice, you know, those kind of things. So just things to, con to consider uh, if you're just starting out with the guitar or the bass or the drums or the keyboard or, you know, whatever. Um, I would say, you know, take those things into consideration as to what you want to do and then you can better prepare yourself for the things you need to work on to get to where you want to be. So uh, leave me some comments below if you have any other suggestions that uh, maybe I didn't cover or if you have any other thoughts on this, uh, this question. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash cryodog, K-R-Y-O-D-A-W-G.